Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Today we're going to go on a little adventure to go check out a new spot that I scouted yesterday. But first, look at this. This is the most Halloween inflated decorations I've ever seen in a yard. It's on the side here. Plus, you know, look at these massive skeletons. <laughs> it's crazy. We're going to take a quick look. I know. It's not fishing, but it's a cool sidebar on the way to where I'm going. This is really crazy. Really crazy. This is a, a lot of effort. What do they do for Christmas, right? There's no dead ends for me. I do a little off-road detour here. And just like that, we're already on the water we're not quite at the spot got a little ways to go this is one of those spots where i'm not going to tell you exactly where it is or how to get to it but if you know this area bell chase then you can guess and find it yourself obvious reasons why i'm not going to straight up dox this spot is because look it's behind a neighborhood riding through this high grass is a challenge a little bit it's almost like deer grass, if you know what that is. So this is a drainage ditch, obviously. And the concrete ends right over here. You can see where it ends, and it goes to mud, natural. Going this way, where I just rode along, it gets really, really shallow. But when you get to this corner here, it's a deep hole. It holds fish. This is a, a panfish, dink bass kind of spot. There are other things here. I'm told there's crappie. I'm going to first look for bait and then we're going to start doing other things to see what happens. And we're going to fish this into the sunset and see how, how it goes after that. And yes, I have found another echo chamber. <laughs> first thing I want to do is drop shot a red wiggler, look for bait. I'm putting a whole red wiggler on because I'm going to perch jerk it actively and I find that you get better bites, bigger fish if you have a little bit hanging off it attracts the fish as you work it and I'll go into a little more detail once I get this bait soaking we're going to be quite generous this time and leave that much hanging off that'll attract the fish let's see how deep it is right here at this culvert not too deep right there. It might drop off as you get to the edge of the culvert. You can kind of see that it comes out a little bit. All right, I'm gonna throw this back into the culvert here. And I'm gonna work this just like it, it's a soft plastic or a lure. Slowly drag it and pop it. I'm trying to shake that worm to get a little attention. See if anything's hanging back there in the shade. Oh, I do see some fish up ahead of us. Here we go. Nice. Got him. Oh, cool. It's not a cichlid, too. I bet you there's just tons of cichlids here. Thank goodness for thick weeds. I almost lost that. That is a nice little bait right there. Try not to pick that lead up off the bottom. Just trying to move the worm up and down in place. Oh, there was a bite. That'll bring the fish to the worm instead of tr having to try and drop the worm in front of the fish or just waiting as the worm sits there. There's something right there. There we go. 
nice and again it's not a cichlid <laughs> because this spot is a concrete ditch i bet a, bet you anything cichlids just love it they're attracted to rocky stuff i've seen a few in here well yesterday when i was scouting i saw a lot of cichlids oh I've got that worm just sitting in the water as I put that bait away and I'm getting bit already. Nice. Ooh. They're hitting pretty good here. Oh, that's even nicer. Look at that. Doing a little bit of exploring around this area. <clears throat> when you're fishing a drainage ditch with really steep concrete embankments like this. You have to be careful of your footing. You don't want to step on anything loose. Any kind of organic stuff could cause you to slip. And as you can see, there's a lot of algae growth under the water there on the embankment. That probably means, ooh, there's a fish right there. Another nice panfish. It probably means it's slippery, so it's gonna be hard to get out. When I was scouting this yesterday, I saw really big schools of bluegill visible in the water. I saw them actually right underneath us, and I don't see them today, but they're around. So I'm having to cast and slowly work the worm to me to try and find them. They might be deeper right now. This isn't super deep, but this is the deepest part that I have access to. I can go further down, but only to a point because eventually going that way, the private properties, the houses start to come right up to the canal. Can only go so far. Plus it's overgrown going that way as well. Nice. Well, that's a decent one too. Nice. They're all over the place here. It is now time to target different things. I have plenty of bait, so we're going to fish a chartreuse colored roadrunner jig underneath a cork to start, see if we can bang into something different. I know there are crappie that show up in here, or sockele if you like. They might not be here right now. There are a little gar feeding, and I think there are bass. We'll see what else will hit this. I've only brought small baits to fish here. <laughs> Man, I just spent the rest of the afternoon fishing that Roadrunner watching Little Gar strike the float. So, yeah, at least I got a bunch of bait for tomorrow, and I'm probably going to fish a little more tonight somewhere else in another video as well. Something different. It was a pretty fun little spot. feel like I invaded uh, a kid's fishing spot here. Nothing but bluegill. There are cichlids, but I just got a bunch of nice baits, and that's cool. Awesome. I'm pretty great for that and I'm grateful that I'm leaving because I don't know why but the smell coming out of that culvert there it smells like lighter fluid like somebody just soaked their coals and walked away I mean it's awful so I'm glad to be going all right guys thanks for watching and subscribing and I'll see you next time